Okay, fade to logo, cue music. Fade back to story. The name is Bigfoot, whereabouts unknown. Throughout the ages, thousands claim to have seen it, from the forests of Northwest America to the Himalayas. Yet in all this time, no hard evidence of its existence had been found. But on October 20th, 1967, two men, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, went riding in the forest near Bluff Creek in Northern California and encountered a big hairy creature walking upright like a man. Bigfoot. They grabbed their movie camera and shot one sensational minute of footage that became known as the Patterson-Gimlin film. This film and encounter became the Bible for Bigfoot believers everywhere, and no one since has presented such compelling evidence. Experts from all over the world have studied this film frame by frame, hoping to learn more about the creature. But what people don't know is that the Patterson-Gimlin film was an absolute fake and we have the evidence to prove it. In a film entitled Hoax of the Century, researchers from the Searching for Bigfoot team interview many of the people involved in making the Patterson-Gimlin film in the story behind the scenes. Now for the first time ever, you'll hear their voices as they tell about the hoax that started it all. Here's a glimpse of what you'll see in Hoax of the Century, the story behind the biggest Bigfoot hoax ever. The bottom of all of this was money. Would you be willing to wear this suit? I'll give you a thousand dollars. We're going to make a movie off this, and we're going to film this and send it to the movies. People in California are going to make a whole lot of money. Holy cow! That's my gorilla suit. I kept it quiet. I promised Roger I wouldn't tell anybody. I kept it f quiet for 35 years. Then, when I heard the amount of money that he was making, and the amount of money that he'd received to get the television to sell the television rights for it. You can go from two miles down the road here to 30 miles that way and ask anybody over 50 years old who Bigfoot was, and they can tell you. You're going to be far enough away, nobody could tell the difference anyway. Uh, they say the thing is supposed to be seven, eight foot tall. Well, I was a little over six foot tall. They said, well, how is somebody going to tell if you're seven foot tall when you're clear over there or if you're four foot tall? I was raised up the trunk to put my boxes in there. And here was the black suit laying in there. Yeah, he needed money to rent the camera. Later found out Mr. Patterson did rent a camera. But he sold it. When they deal with me, they're dealing with the truth because I got the documents to back it up. of a century.